Chad Lance, the head coach from Missouri Valley Vikings, Fred Hardeman University Lions are coached by Jason Shelton, the head coach of the Lions. Again, the Lions from Henderson, Tennessee, Missouri Valley College Vikings from Marshall, Missouri. And you hear a big contingent here from Marshall. Not too far, he's just east of the Kansas City area, and the Vikings with control of the ball to start the game. Over to the left wing. Again, the Vikings with the gray uniforms and purple trim. Maroon uniforms for Fred Hardeman and Lions with white trim. Vikings with control of the ball on the left wing, on the right wing. Now working to the top of the key is Cook. A drive to the lane, the shot up, no good. A foul as a drive to the bucket by Ravel Burton is jammed back. So at the free throw line, they'll put Ravel Burton, a 6'7 junior. Misses that one off the front of the rim. Foul is charged with, to Harrison for the Lions. It's a good shot of Coach Jason Shelton for the Lions from Fred Hardeman University. Both of those shots miss for Burton. It's no points on the board. Early stages of this game, Missouri Valley Vikings, again in gray uniforms with purple, and Fred Hardeman University Lions seated number four with maroon uniforms and white numerals. Shot goes up and rattles around the rim. Does not fall for Meese. Missouri Valley with it, top of the key. Three-point shot, no good off the front of the rim. Both teams not hitting anything so far. The drive slapped back on the rejection by Burton, and the crowd goes crazy. Ravel Burton with a 6-7 reach. Knocks that one back on the rejection. And the Lions maintain control of the ball. Top of the key, three-point shot. Way up in the air on the miss as it hits the back of the rim, and two players colliding on the floor. It's like one of those was Dotson for the Lions, and also, I believe, it may have been number 22. Brad Hamilton, actually, and he's going to get hit with the foul, and that'll be his first. Both teams now with one foul each. The shot clock resets with that foul. The ball tapped back on the miss. Three-point shot left wing off the back of the rim. Doesn't fall as well. Ball goes off the shoulder of Lewis and into the bench and a foul. And Isaiah Harrison will be hit with a foul as he was trying to get the ball in front of the Viking bench and collided over there. As Cook will take the ball down the floor for the Vikings. Vikings in the Lions. Vikings in the, again, gray uniforms. It's like a man-to-man -man defense. A two goes in. Dropped in by James Lane. Lane actually with a three as he was just behind the line. So a three for Lane. So the first point's on the board. Actually, they have two up on the, on the scoring monitor. So a two for Lane. Ball tacked back, and the Lions with the or Vikings with the rebound. Trying to get a play working underneath. They got a fast break, one-on-one, -on -one. layup, good. Layup right side is Cameron Lewis, who answers back, and we're all tied at two. Early stages, first half, 17-20 left to go here in the first half of this one. Fred Hardeman seated number four coming into tonight's action. Left side, three-point shot is no good off the back of the rim. Bounces way back into the arms of Dotson. Drive left baseline, they'll pass it back out instead and set it up at the top of the perimeter. Baseline drive in the paint, double pump shot, no good. Ball tapped back twice, three times, finally goes in. Isaiah Harrison, I believe, tapped that one in as number 32. Great shot there. 
So official video providers of the NAIA Stretch Internet giving us these fantastic shots here from Municipal Auditorium. Pass down to baseline and a foul I was going to be on Evan Foreats. Number 11 on the slap back. That'll be his first. Substitutions coming out of the game. It looks like Lane will come out. Also, Ravel Burton, who was in there with the slap back just a moment ago. And the two goes up in, in. And went off the back of the rim, does not go down for the Lions. Ball loose underneath, and the Vikings with the rebound. Vikings shooting 50% from the floor now, 2 of 4, 0 of 2 at the three-point line. The Lions 2 of 12 from the floor, and 0 of 3 at the three-point line. Chandler Mack comes in the game for the first time, also for the Lions, and now coming in for the first time is Jake Fletcher, the six-foot sophomore from Republic, Missouri, for the Vikings. All in the right wing as the Lions try to work it there. All tied at four. In the pain and a travel. Chandler Mack had the ball and in took an extra step after he got it. I think he was looking at some of the players in front of him on defense and just took an extra step or two. Vikings, it's Thompson, Hickey, Fletcher, Bowling, and Williams on the floor. McLemore, Mack, Meese, Meets, and Harrison, and Dawson for the Lions. For Harrison on the floor with two. Lewis on the bench for the Lions with two. Two for Hickey and two for Lane. For the Vikings, three-point shot, good! Jordan Bowling. Bowling the 6'4 sophomore from Crane, Missouri. Drive the baseline, top of the key. They'll force the shot, baseline, a slap back! Bowling with the rejection back and he'll take the rebound as well. Vikings working at top of the key. 4-7. The Lions with the lead by... Th the Missouri Valley with the lead by three. The Vikings and a push-off on defense. That'll be on Harrison, his second, and he'll come off the floor. That's a good coach, a good shot of Jason Shelton, the head coach for the Fred Hardeman University Lions, and then back over to the Missouri Valley Vikings. Chad Lance, the head coach, and a good shot of Coach Lance. Shouting instructions to his Vikings on the floor. 7-4, Vikings with the lead. Control the ball, three-point shot left wing. Off the back of the rim, doesn't go down. All maroon jerseys underneath, take control of it. And the Lions quickly back down to their end of the floor. Over to the right wing now, and a push off, and that is gonna be a foul on offense. Foul is going to be on number five, Joseph Williams. That'll be his first. And that will be the fourth foul now for the Lions. Shot off the rim, no good. Bowling knocks it back off the glass and in for two. Follow up by Joe Williams. The 6'8 senior from Hannibal, Missouri. To the left wing, now the bounce. It's looking for a bounce pass, ball away instead. Shot goes up in the air, knocked away. Bowling will get the rebound. To the top of the key, baseline, a 9-4 run, or lead right now, as Bowling takes a three-point shot baseline, misses that one. Bowling with three points in the game, a three-point shot, a layup misses on the left side, sent up there by Williams. Actually, I believe, no, that was going to be, that is Chandler Mack who tried that three on the, or tried the layup. 
and we'll see a full-scale substitution for the Vikings as five players line up in front of the scorer's table. Layup right side's rejected! Rejected by the Lions. Somehow Bowling has it at his feet, trying to get it back. Shot clock down to 14. Takes a shot, and he's fouled. And it's going to be an offensive foul as Bowling shakes his head. Wow. Exciting action. Everybody on the floor of the Vikings will come off. As the full contingent for Missouri Valley, Thompson, Hickey, Fletcher, Bowling, and Williams comes off the floor. We'll give you the players that have just come back out. I believe that's going to be Cook, Daniels, Lane, Scott, Hamilton, and Burton. And it is. And in the game, we see for the first time controlling the ball. Nakia Novirta is a 6'11", 215 freshman from Finland. So he'll come over right in front of us here for the inbounds pass. Very tall. His, he stands 6'11 right in front of us. He pretty much blocks out the light in front of the scorer's table here for us. Wow. He'll be tough under the boards, that's for sure. A bounce pass or a pass inside, and the layup over the top is Vincent Dodson. Dodson with two in the game so far. 18 percent from the floor for the Lions. Three of 16. Oh, three at the three-point line so far. Four of 10. 40 percent for the Vikings. As a shot goes up and misses and a push off underneath. And I believe that's going to be hit with on James Lane, number 22. A good shot of James. It's a senior from Cape Girardeau, Missouri. He comes down the floor. That'll be the team's second. And for him, that will be his first, I believe. Now he is second now for Lane. Second for Lane. So early stages, first half, Lane with two. 2.20 left to go here in the first half. 9-6, Missouri Valley with the lead. Low scoring game, lots of chances at the board with both teams. Sixteen shots up on the floor for Fred Hardeman, making three of those so far. No three-pointers after three attempts. Three points, our baseline shot goes up, no good. Slapped out of the hands of Dodson, and the Vikings seal it back. A quick run to the right side, doesn't make the shot. Right perimeter, good! A three-point shot goes up and in. Brad Hamilton with the three. On the right wing, now to the top of the key. Left wing as the Lions work it in the paint, up back to the left wing. Right baseline, and they're working the perimeter. Three-point shot, right wing is good. Ben Meese hits the two, or hits the three. A three-pointer from Meese, and that will be his third point of the game, or three points so far, first shot in. Top of the key, Vikings looking over the right wing. Freed on Freed. Freed. Thank you. Freed Hardeman with control. The ball loose on the floor. Stolen by the Vikings. Here's the pass and the layup. Actually, just the layup and in for two. Freed Hardeman with control of it now at the top of the key. Looking to the right side. A 17-9 lead now for the Vikings. Lions with it. Left side, three-pointer. No good. Tap back, and the Lions will keep control. Three-point shot, top of the key. Good. Fired in there by Ben Meets. So Free Hardeman now coming back at five-point deficit, fighting their way back as the Vikings, very aggressive basketball at the very beginning of this game. Can't get the shot to fall in there with the shot by Burton. Baseline shot right side, does not go in, rattles around the rim, and no maroon jerseys underneath. And a timeout called by Coach Chad Lance of the Missouri Valley College Vikings. So a 30-second timeout. It's Missouri Valley will take the timeout. Freed Hardeman University Lions and Coach Jason Shelton with his squad talking over strategy as you see Coach Shelton to the right of your screen. 
Fred Hardeman with a record of 28 and three, seated number four against Missouri Valley with 28 and 10 record coming into tonight's contest between these two teams. You see a couple of fans there with the Vikings hat and shirt on from Marshall, Missouri, not too far from Kansas City area, about a couple hours drive back to the east and Fred Hardeman University Lions from Henderson, Tennessee. Vikings with control of the ball. They'll take a run up through the middle of the lane. Knocked away as Daryl Lemire tried to take it through the middle of the lane, and it was knocked back. Coach Shelton kind of wondering what happened with that one as he's talking to his men on the floor. Chandler Mack with it at the top over to the left wing. Four eats, three-point shot off the rim, no good. Then meets actually with that shot. Four eats had it just before that. Bowling with the inbounds pass, we're back it away. Brody Thompson will take it down the court. Thompson, a 5'9 junior from a public Missouri. A drive by Lemire. Good shot of Vincent Dotson. Third team foul on the board now for Missouri Valley. Three now for Bowling. Three points in the game. Hickey with two. Two for Lane. Two for Scott. Six for Hamilton, who's on the bench right now, taking a breather for the Vikings. Freed Hardeman with control of the ball at the back of the rim. Jumps back out. Three-point shot. Top of the key. This one hits the front of the rim and rolls out of bounds. And it'll go back to the Vikings. Coach Chad Lance there, the head coach of the Missouri Valley College Vikings from Marshall. As Thompson takes it down the court, now looking to the right side. As Hickey, though, back to the top of the key in the paint, the shot blocked back. Blocked back by Dodson on the pass, or the, the attempted shot by Joe Williams. And knocked out of bounds. Good shot of Williams, a 6'8 senior from Hannibal, Missouri. To head back to the back to the defensive part of it. Layup right side good as they left the door open on the right side for Vincent Dodson. And the senior from Charlotte, Tennessee, puts it in for two. And the full contention of Vikings waiting to come in on substitution. Again, full-scale substitution. Rebound by Dotson on the missed shot. Now a drive on the right side by Mack, and he doesn't hit it, but he and Bowling collide underneath the bucket. Chandler Mack at the free throw line hits that one. And everyone comes off the floor. For Freed Hardeman, it'll be Debrell Lamore who comes in the game, the 5'9 senior from Franklin, Tennessee. Meanwhile, at the free throw line, it's Chandler Mack. Full scale substitution for Missouri Valley. As the ball rolls in for Mack on the free throw shot. So now on the floor, it's going to be Cook, Lane, Scott, Hamilton, and Burton from Missouri Valley. Mack, Lamar, Williams, Lewis, Forheats, and Mack for Freed Hardeman. Top of the key, baseline, off the glass, and in for two. James Lane. And Lane in for two. Four points now for Lane so far. Over to the left wing, bounce pass. Chandler Mack, and then a shot good. And that was Cameron Lewis who shot that one in for Freed Hardeman. Cameron. Scott 
got charged with that one. At the line, Lewis shooting one, and he puts it in. It's now all tied at 19. Seven and a half minutes, a little over seven and a half minutes left to go here in the first half. Missed shot, rebound, the Lions. Lions will take it back. Over to the left wing, looking down her knees. Seven minutes left to go. Shot clock down to 15. Three-point shot left wing. Rattles around the rim. Doesn't go down. Rebound, skyscraper. Rebound by Burton. Pass, layup right side. No good. Tip in. Good. The layup by Lane doesn't go in, and Ravel Burton tips it in for two. Four points for Lane, two for Scott, six now for Hamilton, two for Burton. Rebound falls down the hands of Hamilton. Andre Scott, then Hamilton, right wing, three, good! Brad Hamilton. Senior from Pittsfield, Illinois, knocks in a three. And now a 24-19 lead for Missouri Valley. Green Hardeman team fighting back. Misses that one on the baseline right side. Hook shot goes up. They missed that one as well. Ball still loose on the floor. Underneath is Williams, who finally gets the ball to go in. And Williams with his first points of the game. Drive left side off the basket. Good! Brad Hamilton with the shot off the glass and in for two. Fifth team foul up on the board is a good shot of James Lane. He'll come back in. One shot at the free throw line for... Brad Hamilton, the 6'2 senior from Pittsfield, Illinois. Hamilton averaging 31 points per game. Puts that one in with no problem. Hamilton now first playing double figures with 12 points so far in this contest. 27-21, nearly stolen away. Ball loose on the floor. Over to the right wing. Three-point shot, right side, good. Four eats, hits the, th hits the three. Now Freed Hardeman within three. And I believe they're saying a little moisture on the floor. There's one of the players nearly slipping and it informed the officials that there is some moisture on the floor, so they'll mop that up a bit, and then we'll get back underway. Coach Chad Lance for the Vikings looking on, giving his team the signal for the deep, for the offensive play. Surrey Valley College Vikings with control of the ball, the lead by three. Freed Hardeman University Lions fighting their way back. This three-point shot goes up, misses, but the Vikings able to maintain control of the ball with the rebound on offense. Close match between these two. Freed Hardeman ranked number four, or actually seated number four. Drive to the lane, couldn't get control of it. Shot goes up and in, a nice hook up by James Lane. And Lane with six points. Baseline shot goes up, does not fall. Three throw does not go in. 
Trevor Randolph at the line. And you see coming to the bench is Brad Hamilton. As Trevor Randolph, this 185 freshman from Nashville, Tennessee, nails that one. Coming back in the game is Cameron Lewis, who started the game. Trevor Randolph comes out. So it's Williams, Lewis, four heats, meets, Mees, and Dodson for Freed Hardeman. And for Missouri Valley, Hickey, Cook, Lane, Scott, and Burton. Three-point shot goes off the back of the rim, and the Vikings with the rebound. Four minutes left to go here in the first half. Four-point lead. Right baseline, still working it, trying to look back. Bounce pass in the paint. Hook shot goes up. Good. Ravel Burton. Coach Jason Shelton looks on from the Freed Hardeman University Lions. 31 25, three and a half minutes left to go here in the first half. Freed Hardeman ranked or seated number four, bounce pass or pass over the top. Like four heats trying to get it on the baseline over to Ben Meats and went off his fingertips and out of bounds. Burton comes off the floor. Also, Hamilton comes off, and Bowling coming back in. As you see, Bowling coming back in through your shot. Jordan Bowling from Crane, Missouri. He'll inbounds the pass. We're back underway. Gives it to Brody Thompson, the 5'9 junior from Republic, Missouri. Over to the right wing to Scott. Now back to the top of the key, and the Scott with it on the baseline nearly loses it. Gets trapped underneath. Tries a bounce pass, but it's stolen away. Stolen away by Meese, and quickly down the court over to the left side. Layup, no good. The tap up, good, and a foul underneath. And they're going to say it was an offensive foul. Foul is going to be hit on Vincent Dodson. For Dodson, that his first and the team's sixth. So for Freed Hardeman, 16 fouls, 5-4. Missouri Valley. At the right wing, now back at the top of the key. Looking back over the left wing, a handoff, and shot clock is down to 15. Hits the foot of a player, will go back to the Vikings. Vikings will send it in with Brody Thompson at the baseline, looks for the open player. Gets underneath to Bowling, and the pain tries to get the shot off, but a travel. And now we're back down to the Lions into the gymnasium here at Municipal Auditorium on the floor. Freed Hunterman University Lions with control of the ball, the maroon uniforms. Missouri Valley College Vikings with gray uniforms with purple trim. Ball loose on the floor. Taken back by Meats. Four heats over the baseline. Meats a three-point shot. Good. And now within three again. Missouri Valley with the lead by three with 2.05 left to go here in the first half. Over to the right wing, looking at the top of the key. Back to the right wing, bounce pass underneath. They try to get to Bowen, soling away by Dodson. Quick pass to the other end, a layup right side, good! And the Cameron Lewis nail, puts it in and it's gonna be a foul on the Vikings. Standing underneath was Joe Williams. That'll be the first on Williams and the 17th foul now for Missouri Valley. Ravel Burton comes in and coming out to the bench is Brody Thompson. Good shot of Ravel there, number 44. Sitting next to him, Vincent Dodson, number 44. But at the free throw line, it's Cameron Lewis, the senior from Nashville, Tennessee. Cameron puts that home. Cameron now with eight points in the game so far.
Left wing, baseline shot, good. Bowling puts that in for two. Bowling with five points. Three point shot left wing off the rim, doesn't go down for four heats, taken on the rebound. Vikings quickly down to the other end of the court. A little over one minute left before halfway. Bowling with it, hands it back. Gets it to Hickey. Back over to Cook. 17 on the shot clock, 57 seconds left before halfway. Bowling with it, passes it back out. Baseline shot in and good for Burton. And Burton now with six. 35-31, Missouri Valley with the lead over the Freed Hardeman University Lions. To the top of the key, looking back, over to the right wing. A drive left side, knocked away, but it's going to be a foul. And they're going to call that on Brian Cook, number 10, as Coach Chad Lanston agree with that one. So Cook with it, that'll be his first. And the... Eighth team foul. So that one sent up by four heats, able to go in. The junior from Nashville, Tennessee. As Brad Hamilton comes in, coming off is Kyle Hickey. He'll come to the bench for the Vikings. They out the line. Four heats gets ready to send up the second of two. Fires that one up, no problem at all. Yeah, just a two point deficit for Freed Hardeman. Chandler Mack coming back in. Also heading the benches, bowling coming back in for the Vikings. Number 22, James Lane. Lane back in the game for the Vikings. So back underway with just 15 seconds left before halfway. A two-point lead for the Vikings. Shot clock is dark. Looking down to five seconds underneath. The shot, good! Set up by Burton. And that was stolen ball, but no shot as the ball was stolen away, but no shot at the end as the shot clock went dark, or the game clock went dark with no time left before halfway. So at the halfway point, it'll be Missouri Valley College Vikings 37, the Freed Hardeman University Lions seated number four, 33. And you are listening to live action of the NAIA Division I Men's Basketball National Championship from Kansas City, Missouri, brought to you by the NAIA and Stretch Internet. are groundbreakers. They are not bound by fear. They dare to take great risks. They turn their dreams into reality. LSUA, pioneering the future. Come find yours with us. It's a great day to be a Viking. Missouri Valley College has over 40 majors to choose from, delivering personalized education that fits your needs and goals for the future. College is the time to gain the experience that will set you apart. With small class sizes and one-on-one -on -one attention, Missouri Valley College gives you every opportunity to succeed. Follow us on Facebook or go to moval.edu to schedule a visit. It's a great day to be a Viking. Let Missouri Valley College show you why today. In basketball, sound fundamentals and a well-thought-out game plan can mean the difference between reaching your goals or falling short. The same goes for investing. 
The Buffalo Funds are a family of no-load mutual funds based on sound investing fundamentals designed to help you reach your long-term goals. The fund's investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses must be considered carefully before investing. The prospectus contains this and other important information about the Buffalo Funds, and it may be obtained by visiting buffalofunds.com. Read it carefully before investing. Welcome back to the Buffalo Funds NAIA Division I Men's Basketball National Championships here from Kansas City, Missouri in Municipal Auditorium. I'm your host, Mark Morell, along with David Gonzalez, and you're listening to the 78th Annual Event, which is brought to you by the NAIA and Stretch Internet, the NAIA's official video streaming partner. Great to have you along as we're at the midway point between Missouri Valley Vikings and the Freed Hardeman University Lions. Lions seated number four right now find themselves in a four-point deficit at the halfway point point we're about seven minutes away from getting started into the action back on the corner in our next game just a reminder coming up next our game will be at Campbellsville Kentucky seat at number five with a record of 28 and five taking on LSU Shreveport those teams now on the floor warming up let's go ahead and take a look at our halfway stats and just real quickly look at percentages we'll get that and then come some comments from David here uh, looking at Freed Hardeman first Shooting 11 of 36 from the floor, 30.6%. At the three-point line, 4 of 12, 33%. At the free throw line, 7 of 8, 87% there for the Freed Hardman University Lions. And looking at Missouri Valley, 16 of 32% from the floor, 50% there, 4 of 10, 40% from the three-point line, and 1 of 3, 33% from the free throw line. 23 rebounds for the Lions, 18 for the Vikings. Assist, the Vikings lead 13 to eight over the Lions. Looking at the top scores for both squads, Freed Hardeman so far, eight for Lewis with a personal, two for Mack, nine for Meats, four for Dodson with a personal, two for Williams with a personal, five for Forheats with a personal, one for Randolph, two for Harrison with two personals, and for Missouri Valley, one for Cook, or one personal for Cook, Lane with six points in a personal, two for Scott with a personal, 12 for Hamilton, first player double figures with two personal fouls, eight for Burton, two for Hickey, a personal foul for Lemire, five for Bowling with a personal, two for Williams with one personal. So those are your final, or those are your totals so far at the midway point between these two squads, the Freed Hardeman University Lions again seated number four against the Missouri Valley Vikings from Marshall, Missouri, just down the road. The Lions hail from Henderson, Tennessee. So, David, taking a look at the first half, your your thoughts about these two squads and what you saw with uh, Freed Hardeman again seated number four coming in and the good contingent here, the, a lot of fans here for the Missouri Valley Vikings. What were your thoughts here in the first half? Yeah, Free Hardman is um, down by four points right now, but they're playing tough ball. They're getting good looks, and they're getting in the paint. Missouri Valley is just taking over when it comes to the field. They're, sit they're sitting at 50% right now, shooting 16 for 32. Uh, I think uh, Free Hardman wants to get back in this, then you take uh, all the paint, maybe get a few foul shots. Missouri Valley, they continue to play hard, and uh, they might end up with a win here. All right. Well, David, thank you for your thoughts on that. And again, here at the midway point between these two teams. This is just the second of four games we'll have for you tonight. Again, coming up next, we'll have the game featuring the Campbellsville, Kentucky squad, seated number five of the record of 28 and five, taking on LSU Shreveport. And then our final game of this evening, Westmont, California, with a record of 21 and 10, taking on the 12 seated Lewis Clark State from Idaho with a record of 25 and seven. So a lot of basketball yet to be played here at the 2015 Buffalo Funds uh, Division I Men's Basketball National Championships. So great to have you along with us, looking at the stats here for the first half. The score has been tied four times. The lead has changed hands twice, but right now at the midway point, it's the Vikings with the lead, 37-33, with about three minutes left before we head back into action on the floor. Again, the teams you're seeing right now on your screen are the teams from our next game coming up, and again, that will be Campbellsville, Kentucky, and LSU Shreveport. 
And those guys warming up on the floor right now. The winner of tonight's game between Missouri Valley and Freed Hardeman will take on Mid-America Christian. They were able to defeat Xavier. 84-70 in the game prior to this one, in case you missed that one. Mid-America Christian seated number 13, able to get the win again, 84-70 over Xavier in a tough, tough battle early on stages of that game, but Mid-America Christian able to pull away with an 84-70 win. But again, they'll take on the winner of this game on Friday at 8 p.m. here in the 2015 Buffalo Plains NEIA Division I Men's Basketball National Championship. That'll be 8 p.m. Central Time. And all this heading towards Tuesday when we crown our national champion at 7.02, the tip-off for the final game here for the 2015 Buffalo Funds NAIA Division I Men's Basketball National Championships. And if you're in the Kansas City area, you might want to go down the road not far away from downtown Kansas City. Just east on Interstate 70 is the Independence Event Center, where right now you can check out more exciting action from the NAIA Division I Men Women's Basketball National Championships going on there. Check out the information on NAIA.org. Again, the women's game's taking place in Independence, Missouri at the Independence Event Center, and that'll run from March 18th through the 24th. Again, for more information regarding the women's Division I men's or Division Women's Basketball National Championships, go to NAIA.org. Missouri Valley Vikings currently back on the floor, getting ready to take a few shots at the basket with one and a half minutes left before we head back into action on the floor. So far, the Freed Hardeman University Lions still talking with Coach Jason Shelton about strategy before they come back out on the floor here at Municipal Auditorium. Again, great to have you along as now the Freed Hardeman University Lions come back out on the floor. Again, the top scores now for Freed Hardeman pretty much across the board. Lewis with eight, nine for Mies, five for four eights and two for Dodson, the higher scores. In double figures and leading both squads are Hamilton from the Vikings with 12, six for Lane for the Vikings, eight for Burton, and five for Bowling. Bowling has been pretty tough underneath, so let's see also Ravel Burton has been extremely tough underneath. Where Burton, the 6'7 junior from St. Antigua and Bowling, the 6'4 sophomore from Crane, Missouri. And for the Lions, it's been Dodson underneath with that 6'5 frame, the senior from Charlotte, Tennessee. Isaiah Harrison with the Playmakers, four heats, and Lewis at the top of the key. So again, these squads here, the great contingent who's taking a look at the fans from Missouri Valley, not far away from our, from our area here, from Kansas City and Marshall, Missouri, about two and a half or two hours away to the east and a little bit back to the north. So they have their cheering, cheerleading squad here and a big contingent of fans. They're fans wearing the orange colors with purple. And some folks from Henderson, Tennessee on hand as well. They have a pretty good contingent as well. They're right behind their bench and standing in front of us is Isaiah Harrison ready to get us back into action here for second half basketball. Winner of this game again will take on Mid-America Christian on Friday at 8 p.m. Central, and you'll see that all right here at NAIA.org, courtesy of our official video streaming provider, Stretch Internet. Freed Hardeman with the top of the key, the drive to the lane, good! The shot set up under pressure by Lewis. Somehow with a hand on the ball, he was able to put that up there and put it in for two. And now Freed Hardeman within two. 19 and a half minutes left, layup right side, good. James Lane with the two on the right side off the glass. At the free throw line, the ball does not go in. Quickly on the rebound. Lions with it, Hamilton. Three point shot left wing, rattles around the rim, does not go down. Dodson with the rebound, quickly to four heats. Four heats in the paint, baseline pass, three-point shot goes up, off the rim, and again, no good, but a push underneath on offense by Harrison, I believe. Uh, 
a third on Harrison. And the first this half for the Lions. And Harrison will come out. Nuhola Virtra coming in the game from Finland for the Lions. Three-point shot right side does not fall in. It goes right back in the Lions' hands. Straight through the middle of the lane. The layup no good. Wow, what a great attempt, but just in fall for Lewis. A quick pass to the other end. Ball loose, taken away by the Lions. Right up into Dodson's hands on the pass. Seven turnovers for Creed Hardeman. Seven also for the Lions of Missouri Valley. Ball loose underneath. Tapped out of the hands of four heats. Got a Cook at the top of the key over to the right wing. Got a Scott. Scott trying to drive. Not able to go anywhere at the free throw line. The shot goes up and falls in for Ravel Burton. And Burton in double figures with 10. 12 for Hamilton. Both of those players on the floor for the Vikings right now. He's thought about the three-pointer. Has a struggle with some pressure by Andre Scott on him. Shot clock down to 10. Three-point shot. No good off the back of the rim. Fired up there by Foreheads. Cook on the right wing looking to his left side. He's got a pass over there. Player open is Andre Scott. Back over to Hamilton, baseline, left side, takes the hook shot, no good. Ball tapped, out of bounds, or actually it's gonna go right in the hands of the Lions instead. Lewis got it, now four heats with the shot, three-pointer off the rim this time again, no good. Lions shooting 12 of 42, 28% from the four, now four of 15, 26% from the three-point line. Well, the Vikings shooting 18 of 37, 48% from the floor, and 4 of 11, 36% from the three-point line. On the floor, jam! Rod Ravel Burton on the jam. They left him at the back door. Nobody saw him on the baseline left side, and there he went, and boom, there's the jam. Wow, Ravel Burton. 12 points now for Burton, 12 for Hamilton. Let's go ahead and take a look at that one more time. As you see the setup, and then here's the pass, and then there's the jam in slow motion. As Ravel Burton, the 6'7 junior from San Antigua, jumps up there and gets rarefied air as he slams that one home for the Vikings. 43-35. Great Hardeman again came into tonight. Seated number four. Having a tough battle against Missouri Valley as they're putting up quite a fight here from Marshall, Missouri. Great Hardeman traveling all the way from Henderson, Tennessee. Vikings await the Lions coming down the floor. So they're moving into a zone defense now. Lions with the top of the key. Shot clock down to 10. Down to five. They're going to have to shoot something pretty quick. Down to three. There's the shot. Rattles around the rim. Follow up. Good. Sent up there by Vincent Dodson. So Dodson with a quick follow up. Dawson with four now in the game. Top of the key, right side. 
Bounce pass underneath. Here's a hook shot. Misses it. Ball taken away by the Lions. Freed Hardeman with it. Got a one-on-one. What is he going to do? Takes it to the basket. Puts it in. No shot. Charge called. On Lewis, that'll be his second. Bowling comes back in the game, heading to the bench is Lane, and also you see Brad Hamilton for the Vikings heading to the bench for Missouri Valley. 43-37, 15 minutes and 10 seconds left to go to decide who moves into second round action tomorrow night. And we'll have it all for you right here. On the right wing, baseline, sent over to Thompson, who's joined the game just a moment ago, to Bowling in the paint, nearly loses it, slapped out of his hands, and a foul. Hickey came over to try to grab it. Williams with the second. And the third team foul for the Lions. Bounce power, pass getting ready to be sent in, and they do, it's tipped away. Stolen away by the Lions, layup left side, good. Sent up by McLemore. He puts it in for two, quickly down to the other end in for, oh, and a miss, a miss, and a tap back on the rebound as they try to fight it back with a quick two at the other end. Four-point spread between these two teams. A shot goes up, trying to make it a two-point lead. And it doesn't go in. Ball loose underneath, taken down by the Vikings. Finally taken away by Burton. Wow, exciting basketball back and forth. Bowling with it, three-point shot is no good. Ball around the rim, old maroon jerseys underneath. The Lions take it back. Nearly falling on the floor, a reach over, and I believe that's going to be hit with Andre Scott. Let's look at this again. Wow, it's hard to catch your breath from all the action. Here it is. Here's the drive. There's the shot. The pass actually underneath. Baseline, the shot goes up. Off of there, sent up by Dodson. Then it's battled back. You see Bowling battling, trying to keep the shot from going up there. Rattles around the rim again. And then finally coming down with it is Burton on the rebound. Trying to get some position there. What exciting action that was back and forth. Lions with it, shot goes up by Chandler Mack and he's gonna hit with a charge. Bowling standing underneath. So Mack now with his second personal. Four team foul for the Lions. Fletcher comes in. And Andre Scott comes out. Jason Shelton not locking the call on the floor. Still talking over the officials. If you see in the top of your screen, there is the Vikings taking the ball down the court. Over to the left wing to Hickey. Now top of the key is number 42. Joel Williams has joined the game just a moment ago. For the Vikings, Jake Fletcher in there, number 12. There's the layup left side, doesn't fall. Battle for it underneath. Again, out battling was Joe Williams. The Lions able to take control of it. Chandler Mack and a push off on the shoulder by number 12, Jake Fletcher. So you're gonna hit that one with James or Kyle Hickey. That's his first. Inbounds pass comes in. The Lions have it. Three-point play. Doesn't hit it at the back of the rim. Ball loose. Lions keep control. Three-point shot, right wing, hits the back of the rim, doesn't fall. Vikings with it, running down the court. Thompson with it, the right wing, nearly loses it. Had some pressure in front of him. Now dribbles out of it, back to the right wing, and they all settle down. Bounce pass to Bowling. Over to the right wing, thought about the three, passes it back instead. Bowling looks at it. A lot of time still left on the shot clock. Now down to 10. They try a bounce pass underneath the hook. Good on a miscue underneath, and Hickey picks it off the floor and puts it off the blast for two. Wow. 
miscue. They were trying to get it to bowling, but the basketball rolled on the floor. Hickey picks it up and rolls it off the floor for two. Twelve minutes left to go. The shot by Chandler Mack. Good. And a foul by number 42, Joe Williams. And it looks like coming off the bench there will be Evan Forheath's number 11 as we see full-scale substitution again for the Missouri Valley Vikings. Everyone comes off the floor. So Thompson, Hickey, Fletcher, Bowling, and Williams come off. I believe it'll be Cook, Daniels, Lane, Scott. We'll see who's on the floor a minute here for the Vikings. Meanwhile, at the free throw line, it's Chandler Mack, the senior from Corpus Christi, Texas. That one doesn't fall in. Ball, so Lucy gets it back on the rebound. Over to the left wing, dangerous pass, able to get it over there. Missed shot comes down. Isaiah Harrison trying to hook that one in, just couldn't get the angle on it underneath. Just under 12 minutes left to go. Back to the top of the key near the free throw line, dribbles out of it. Vikings looking underneath, can't get a person underneath there. Heavy pressure at the top of the key. The left wing, three point shot, front of the rim, doesn't go down, back to the top of the key again. On the perimeter, over to the right wing. Vikings working it. Man-to-man defense for the Lions. Shot goes up and rattles around. Oh, just doesn't fall for Ravel Burton. That thing almost was halfway down into the net and then rolled itself back out. Baseline shot goes in and fires up and drops for Chandler Mack. It looked like he was almost going to do the same thing for him, but it does fall for Mack, and now just a two-point deficit for the Lions. Top of the key, three-point shot is going in and good. James Lane. Lane with 11 now, 12 for Hamilton, 12 for Burton. Hook shot up and good. Right back is Harrison answers with the shot on the hook coming back. Vikings with it, perimeter, top of the key, three pointer is no good. Rebound Lions quickly down to the other end. McLemore had it and over to the left wing. Ten minutes left to go. Chandler sends it up, doesn't get it. Had a pretty shot fired up there and a timeout on the floor. Timeout called, I believe, by the Vikings. The coach Chad Lance wants a timeout. So we see a good shot of Bowling and the rest of the squad for the Vikings. So a timeout on the floor. 60,000 student athletes, 260 college campuses, 23 national championship events, 500 million in athletic aid. Get in the game today at playnaia.org. The NAIA Champions of Character program helps students understand and embody what character truly means. It also provides student athletes, coaches, and parents the training to know, to do, and value the right thing both inside and outside of sports. Learn more at the championsofcharacter.org. Again, championsofcharacter.org. Good look at the fans. The bench over at the Freed Hardeman University Lions. As we have just a few seconds before both teams will head back out on the floor. Close game between these two. Freed Hardeman again comes in seated number four. This 2015 Buffalo Funds NAI Division I Men's Basketball National Championships. This is their third appearance. The first round record is 2-0. and oh, So, so far in three appearances. Twice they have moved forward. for the Vikings, for Freed Hardeman. They have been in five times, and their first round record is one in three. (laughs) 
Good shot of Coach Chad Lance there. The uh, fan holding up the board with his picture on it. Head coach of the Missouri Valley Vikings. Shot goes up and in for two. Cook for two. And Cook now with two points in. That's his first of the game, 11.